Hello everybody, uh, I'm going to start shooting my videos from a new uh, location here. I've got my bar set up now, and uh, so let's just talk about my new setup here. Uh, my bar here is 9 feet this way by 7 feet this way. Um, it's a wet bar, and it's got uh, cabinets here with shelving, cabinets here with shelving, and then it's got some open shelving here where I have all my bottles and uh, so forth. It's got a full refrigerator over here. Uh, one of these days I'll give you a panorama because I got some really cool stuff that's not going to be in, in view. On the thing here I got Big Bertha and I've got uh, old policeman here. Uh, move it out of the way so you can see uh, see stuff a little better. Oh, Alright, I'm back. Uh, so I'm going to just go over what I have here. I have some cool Schlitz lights uh, here. Uh, this is my, uh, some of the stuff I've featured in other videos. This is my uh, hillbilly decanter. Um, it's actually on a, a place how dry I am, and it's the hat comes off, and uh, you can put whiskey in here. Um, so you have to have a hillbilly for hillbilly wine. This is a um, cognac in here from France in an Eiffel Tower glass. Um, this is from Merlot, uh, Merlot a Winery in California that I um, I bought this box with two bottles of wine in it. But what's cool about it, you can stay at the um, winery. In the middle of the vineyards, it had some um, little, um, really cottages, and they were they were up high, um, and they're overlooking the vineyard, and then um, they're connected by a big patio area that you could sit out. Had some really nice uh, tables, and it was so relaxing after a day of uh, sampling all the wineries to go back there at night and maybe have some another cheese tray, some light uh, champagne, or some wine, some more, and um, just. It's just beautiful. So if you ever get out to California, you might want to look it up. M A M I L A T. Uh, that's a cool system they got there. I got some old bottles here. Uh, these I, I drank them. Uh, this was a Barola, um, 1978. I like that the cool burlap. And um, this is a Chateau de Pop, uh, French um, Bordeaux. Uh, it's it's a twisted bottle. And it's made to look really, I mean, this is from the 70s, but it's made to look real old, like it was down in the cellar, um, with kind of a, a spray dust type thing on it. Uh, and then, real quick, I've got uh, two uh, Woodford Reserve collector bottles um, for the Kentucky Derby, and it's got hand painted. It's got a couple of uh, horses and finish line, and Churchill down, twin spires in the back. Um, it tells um, you know, what number bottle this is. Uh, next to that is a Breeders' Cup. And if you can look through here, which I know you can't see from there, but you look through and you can see a horse, it says Breeders' Cup 1998. You look through the bottle and you see it, and it's also numbered. Um, this is an old crow, um, uh, just an advertisement thing. It's really old. Um, it was on my grandfather's bar, so it means a lot to me that I can still have this here on mine. This uh, bottle here is a uh, Kiani bottle. It's heavy, but the cool thing about it is solid... Uh, wax it's actually a candle so that's pretty cool this I uh, you might remember the video I did on it um, um, purple toad winery puts all their wines in this Christmas bottle um, this time you know Christmas time and um, you know I obviously I did the uh, the, the, the uh, video on it and when it was over I, I filled it with water and I put green dye and I like the bottle sand paint it it's cool this one here is a bottle of Chiani uh, shaped like a grape cluster with a really cool heavy top like a decanter so I like that uh, a bottle of uh, 1975 Brunella Montalcino and 1976 vintage Port Christian Brothers I may do this for my 300 sub mm -hmm. what do you think this is my coolest bottle it's a, uh, a Barola 1974 it's wrapped in leather it's got a wax seal it's got a wax seal here with a um, a candle holder made out of um, lead, I think, with a candle and a metal um, label. It's really, really neat. Um, then I got some uh, Maker's Mark bottles. I go there all the time. I go to a lot of these uh, distillers because they're close to my house. Um, so, we have Calipari from when he became the coach of uh, UK. And notice that Maker's Mark usually dipped in red wax. These are special bottles. This one obviously dipped in blue. It says Wildcats UK. Um, uh, thought it had a year on here. Um, oh, it does. On this wax seal here, 2010. 
Uh, this one's for Dan Issel. He was a famous, uh, you know, baseball player for um, University of Kentucky, and he went pro. It's uh, they put this out in 2013, dipped in Kentucky blue, um, and all these are uh, numbered because um, they're limited edition. This one here is U of L dipped in black wax because their colors are black and red and white. And it's 19, uh, excuse me, 1798 to 1998. It's the 200th anniversary of the college. It has a cardinal bird on the wax seal. Uh, I thought that was neat. This one was cool from uh, Keeneland. Keeneland, their colors are green. Racetrack in Lexington, Kentucky. They put out a bottle that year in 2000 to uh, commemorate it. It's gold wax double dipped with green wax. Uh, Maker's Mart, uh, it's numbered. It's for Keeneland, and um, uh, it talks about it on the back of the bottle. This uh, was actually, they didn't have enough whiskey that year, so they, they made them uh, empty bottles. That's how they made them, and suckers, uh, like me, ran out and purchased them, so I got one. Uh, this Maker's Mark one celebrating UK and U of L with the uh, rivalry. Uh, it's blue wax with red wax dipped over it. Uh, the Maker's is in blue, the Mark is in red, um, and then they even have, uh, <laughs> it's that time of year again, uh, 12, 29, 2001, and Kentucky, and you can put the score in Louisville, the score. It's, it's kind of a cool bottle. Uh, here you have one representing uh, one of Rupp, Rupp's, was the uh, Rupp Arena is where the Cats play, named after Adolf Rupp. These guys picture here, it's called Rupp's Runts. Uh, they won the uh, championship one year, and this is commemorating uh, Rupp's Runts. This came out in 2006, uh, 40th anniversary, I guess, of that win. Then you have this one, uh, Kentucky. It says Kentucky on the label here. 1996, it's a blue jean color, it's the year they won, and their jerseys that year, they did this kind of a blue jean uh, colored jersey. So that was for them, honor them. Um, come back down here, I've got some old uh, three, what is this, uh, 3600 um, milliliter bottle of Italian wine. Um, I drank it, it was good, <laughs> it's the County Classico. Uh, this is a 4,000 milliliter. This is actually 3,000. It says 3,000 uh, milliliters. 4,000 milliliters. This is full. It's a, um, and I drank both of those back a long time ago. This is a uh, Seagram 7. It's a gallon. Now it would be a metric system, but it says gallon right here. It's full of Seagram 7. It's a really big bottle. Um, then back in the corner I have a uh, leather wrapped, um, it's commemorating the Post magazine. It's filled with uh, uh, Jim Beam bourbon from the 70s. I have two decanters here from Spain that are um, wrapped in leather and have some cool pictures on them. Um, I have an old bottle of Ballantine beer here. Uh, it's full. Uh, this Bob Leach gave me an old World War II vet. I talked about him in some other videos. He's no longer with us, but he did give me this. Um, he gave me this in the 70s. It's probably from the 40s or 50s. Uh, I have a uh, Coors Light bottle. Um, shaped like a baseball bat, so I just like being like baseball. I have some uh, cigars here from Maker's Mark. They make these cigars. They dip them in the red wax and they sell them, uh, especially around here, bourbon country. But these are all commemorative. This one's Churchill Downs, it's dipped in black. This is a 98 and this one's a 99 Kentucky uh, commemorative, dipped in blue. This red one here is for Louisville 1999. Uh, this is for Tennessee in orange. And this one here is Churchill Downs. It's dipped in gold. Then I've done these in some other videos. I have uh, some Jim Dean decanters from the 70s. They're full. They're uh, collector's bottles. This one's cool. This goes on a pedestal that lights up. But I have it up there. I don't have it on the pedestal. And it lights up in through there. And it's Four Roses. And it's all the stuff that Four Roses made out of bourbon. It's got uh, corn. It's got a uh, kernel of corn in there. And it's got uh, uh, rye and some wheat. and. Uh, that's what they make uh, most bourbons out of, or at least that's what they make uh, this Four Roses out of. Um, then I just have some soda bottles uh, over here that I thought were cool. I got a uh, um, Homeboy Orange Mango. I don't know if they sell the same more. And it's like Homeboy spray painted, it, and it's like an urban setting. And I used to work the project area, and this is where they sold this, and I thought it was funny. Um, and I have one that says, uh, got this in Texas. Uh, Cowboy, Texas Cowboy Ale. Um, and then just one with uh, kind of the label I made up on. Um, I have this as uh, old uh, Mullen Brow uh, beer flag. I got a little policeman here made of crushed pecan shells. Uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, I have this decanter here from Italy wrapped in um, 
um, leather. And then, um, let me see here. I got this Maker's Mark glass um, engraved Maker's Mark. It's got their seal. It's triple uh, dipped. It's got red, white, and blue. Um, so I thought it was a cool glass. Um, one of my coolest glasses, uh, I knew a guy named Harold Pierce. You can probably Google him. He was, he's a knife maker. And he knew I, I collect shot glasses. I have a thousand shot glasses over here. I'll do another video on that. And so he took a uh, steer's horn and he cut it and he polished it and he inlaid my initials in brass here and then he put a nice wood bottom on it and he stamped um, H. Pierce in it and gave it to me and you know it's beautiful it's neat and I really appreciate that and then the, the down here I just have some different mugs uh, this one's a Marine Corps mug the rest are in police mugs from different uh, conferences I went to and then lastly these rubber things that you always see at bars I worked um, Keeneland one year as a fundraiser during the Kentucky Derby and they gave me a lot of stuff and they gave me a bunch of glasses and one of the things I got was this the old Forrester um, sponsored that uh, was the drink that, uh, of that year for the uh, mint juleps but um, what I like about it is normally these things here these little rubber things are just like little dots uh, you've seen them at the bars this Greg Goose they also sponsored that year they did the uh, this was the uh, mint julep and this was uh, the uh, Lily drink was a thing. Anyway, th what's cool about this is the little rubber things that are usually little dots are actually horseshoes. Uh, so I thought that was really cool. I also got a uh, a big one, and uh, it's got all the horseshoes on it. And you know, they gave all this stuff away. I got T-shirts, I got pins, I got a bunch of these. I got uh, probably 50 different kind of glasses uh, that they were serving that year. That year they served the glasses and they ran out and they did like the year before and they ran out of those and then they did stuff from the Preakness. They were giving out glasses to the Kentucky Derby from like five years previous and then they ran out of those and they were charged the same amount to give you a, a drink in a plastic uh, cup. They were $11 that year and people couldn't buy them fast enough. Um, and the Grey Goose, like I said, was in the Lily. And um, so I had Lily glasses and I had all those Derby glasses. So anyway, this is where I'm in my new location and... Uh, let me uh, let me put Sarge back over here. Uh, this is where I'll be shooting my videos from, and now you know what's in the background. So from Hillbilly Wine 101. Cheers, everybody.